Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol NBEV. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several weeks worth of time, it's actually just the past three days broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like you this time frame thing is a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. I've done this analysis several times in the past, including yesterday, and that is where both the green line and red line annotations are coming from. And both of them are still fully intact, and um, we got confirmation of the lower part of the uh, you know channel. Um, and real quick, what do I mean by channel or this right here? So if you're totally new to charts, this is what we would call a sideways channel pattern. And you know, it's one thing to say, you know, I think that might be the bottom of the channel, uh, but that's where confirmation comes in and that's what we got today. You can see that the price spent quite a bit of time right around the 560 to 550 area, basically that green line. And you can see ultimately the price not only did it hold, but towards the end of the day, the price actually started to creep its way back higher and higher away from it. So a nice little sign of strength there. Uh, but all that is kind of just a very micro viewpoint of things. Micro meaning, you know, we're just, I'm looking at one day and talking about one day, taking a step back, Looking at multiple days here, nothing really happened. Nothing happened in the sense of, well, the price is still stuck between this channel. And until something does actually happen from a technical perspective, something happening being defined as either a breakout to the upside of the channel or a breakdown of the downside, then you know there's not much else to really talk about. Now, a lot of people are still watching this one and you know chattering on it, so I wanna keep things updated. But just understand that from a general perspective, not much else can be said until you know, either the, the channel gets the breakout or breakdown. I will give some credit where credit's due. This morning, things were looking pretty shaky. I mean, the price gap down below the, the channel, uh, but the bulls fought back and fought back very nicely. And, you know, ultimately, you know, got the price back inside of the channel and even separated to the upside a little bit. So from a very shaky morning um, on the bulls part to recovery nicely, maybe they can build upon that uh, going into tomorrow to close out the week. We shall see. One of the biggest questions that I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.